Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Morning Glow. Welcome to another episode of The Morning Glow. Got a great broadcast lineup for you this morning. Got a great broadcast. I, I think we're going to have a real good conversation this here morning. I think we're going to have a real good conversation this here morning. But before we go another step further, before we go another iota, before we put another toe in the water, I got to lean to my left, turn to my left, and say good morning to my brother from another mother. But we got the same father. This is Mr. Leonard. Sir Leonard. Good, good, good morning. Good morning, sir. How you doing this morning? I'm coming along, man. It's going coming to be along? Great. Come on, man. You're doing better than coming along, man. You, you, I haven't. Doing... All of me is not here yet. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Your body's here <laughs> with me. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But look at here. Little, we got a topic this morning, man. We started yeah, I this. I don't like it. I, I know you don't, but it's the truth. <laughs> but it's the truth. And, 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 and how do you say the truth and the truth shall what? Set you free. Not because I don't agree. Mm hmm. Yeah, because it's just, you know, it's so factual. It's, it's too factual? It's too factual. Mm-hmm. It's too factual. Okay. Let me see. Uh, uh, blessings to you, uh, 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 Christina Qu- uh, Quartet Explosion is tuning in. Well, good morning, young lady. Good to have you. Good to have you joining us. And uh, you're always more than welcome. But we're going we're gonna to kick this conversation off, Linda. I, I, yes. I was going to preface it. And uh, let me open up the phone lines because people are going to want to call in and talk about this. I know they're going to want to talk about I it. I think because the conversation will narrow it down as well. You think so? Because it's, it's, I mean, it's, we'll just go. We'll go with it. Yeah. Ready, ready to go? Yeah. Put your seatbelt on. <laughs> strap it on real tight. Put your seatbelt on and strap it on real tight. Because what we're talking about this morning, we're asking the question, and, 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 and I think it's been happening for years. I think it's actually been happening for years. And I think something needs to be done about it. Because it, it needs to stop. It really needs to stop. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you what we're talking about. Do men victimize women? Do men victimize women? Do men put women in, 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 in cases and scenarios in their life where they, are, they, are, they become victims? And we're going to turn a couple of other, as we go along, we're going to turn some more layers back on this thing. But let, let me ask you the question. Do men victimize women? Of course they do. Mm. Of course they do. Men victimize other men. Mm-hmm. So it's it's the nature of being a man mm-hmm. that is the issue. Uh-huh. And, and and women victimize other women and victimize other men. Victimization, I don't think, is so narrow. Mm-hmm. We can talk about there's a certain type of victimization okay. that applies to women. Mm-hmm. That and applies so, to women? Yes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's... um. It's no worse, no worse than any other type. Mm-hmm. But it's very common. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say it's natural. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's naturally evil. It is evil, very it's evil. naturally evil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's, mm-hmm. it's it's base in nature. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and um, it's crazy. Now about that, this is this is. And and, and, and and this this is a hard conversation, but this is something that's been that's been going on, Leonard, for years. This is something that has that has been going on for years. And my question is this right here. Has women allowed it to go on for years? Have have, have women not and and, 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 and and we're not blaming them. I don't want people to think that we're blaming them because we're not. That's that's not that's not the source of this question that I'm asking. But have women allowed it to happen and had they stepped up and, 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 and took certain stances, would this have stopped a long time ago? Well, definitely women do participate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. W- women do volunteer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the big issue and what makes it so I'm trying to find the word because Mitchell, I call it for a second. I'm trying to uh, find the word for it. Uh, someone can help me out. Call in, put it on the Facebook page, or what have you. Mm-hmm. But there is a relationship mm-hmm. around a lot of this new victimization. Yeah, victimization before was not something voluntary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The person usually is innocent, mm-hmm. and they're attacked. Yeah, yeah. That's victimization. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But we are using that word even now from a participatory point of view. Okay. In the sense 
of the word, of being a victim, mm -hmm. you usually wouldn't participate knowingly. Mm -hmm. I think that's the, what's, turned, what's changed about it today. It's a difference from me coming over, hitting you in the back of the head and dragging you off. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then you just coming with me knowing mm -hmm. I'm this type of person. Mm -hmm. That's different. But both are victimiz is victimization. But, uh, and, 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 and I'm glad, uh, we, we, hold on before I do that, we got a caller. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Hi, this Sherry. Good morning. Good morning, Sherry. How you doing? I'm fine. Question. Uh, is this the uh, topic that you posted on Facebook a couple of days ago, like 12 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, it wasn't no 12 o'clock in the morning, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is. And then, I, and, then, and then I got into a discussion with Do, um, Donald Toussaint, and I had to tell him to go to bed, and I would handle him doing normal business hours because he was coming from left field. <laughs> yep, this is that. He was coming from. He was coming from left field, and I had to tell him, I'm like, don't do that. And I was mm. mad at you because you posted it that late, and I wasn't meant to be prepared to handle that question. <laughs> but, I'm with you on that, Sherry. But see, the thing, about, the thing about it is right here. Now it's early in the morning. You had a good night's sleep. And I'm going to ask you the question. Do men victimize women? What do you say to that? And and Donald's listening yes, in. Donald's going to call in a minute because he's listening in right now. He's going he gonna, to he gonna call in. Y'all going to have y'all little conversation this morning. I guarantee you Donald's going to call in. He's listening now. I see him listening. Okay. Okay, but I'm gonna have to, uh, to handle this real quick and then call back because I gotta run an errand. But yeah, I'm gonna call back and get him around eight thirty. Okay. But, um, yes, men are uh, vi victimized women because y'all play upon the weak. And I was in the same situation. It's like you see somebody, and it's like just like. And after I started, I got on my situation when my husband died. I was talking to somebody I knew that for you. And I was just sharing him some of the stuff that I was dealing with. And I thought he was my friend. I've been knowing for years. He started doing the same thing that my husband did to me. Mm. Hey, you. The same thing. When I told him that, he said, no, I'm not this, that, and other. And I realized that then people would take you. It's like you try to find a friend to just kind of like, you know, pour, you know what I'm saying, just to vent to every now and then. I didn't do it that often because I don't like to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But then he took that and he twisted and he he did the same, started doing the same exact thing my husband did to me. He just did it differently. Mm -hmm. He just tweaked it a little bit. And it's just, and it made me, and I told him that, and I'm sitting up here looking, he, he fed me the same garbage my husband, and I just was like, I left him back in 2019, I'm like, you were supposed to be my friend, he knew my kids, my kids left him, been knowing him for years, before I had my youngest, mm -hmm. just meet him out and about, whatever, and it's like, people would, would you give them, just you venting, tell them, just sharing your story, and they would take it, and they would twist it, and use it, for them to, to get over on you, and he mm -hmm. did that, he tried to, what he tried I ain't no fool. Mm -hmm. But I'm just no more. I done, I done lived, I done learned, and I refuse to be put back in that situation again. So when I see the red flags, I cut you off. Exactly. And okay. I thought I was crazy because I'm like, no, he's not spoon feeding me the stuff that I told him my husband was doing to me. So yes, men do that. They do. And it's like they know that we weak and we want to just have somebody to love and just to, just to care for or whatever. And they use that. Why do you think that is? And, and Sherry, sad. Sherry, Sherry, let me ask you the question. Why do you think, what do you think the whole basis behind why men do this to women and have been doing this for years? What, what is the reason behind it? I mean, a lot of times, I mean, I know from my situation, he was trying to use it because he was, he was, he was, he was used to living with awful women, moving from house to house to house, and I didn't figure that out until he had a conversation, and I was told that if you really listen to a man, he'll tell you what he about, so I found out who he, I, I, like they call that, they, what's that, uh, I got your penny slick, I figured out how he was after a week, mm -hmm. and I told him, and I just don't understand, it's like, some people are thirsty, and they trying to get something from you, they trying to get over on you, and some people just downright don't care, and it could be, and I think it's, of him when he was a child because his mama put him out the house at 15 because he had a baby mm -hmm. at 15 so with an older person that. and it's like and his mama was just like in the church and the pastor daddy was a pastor and they was just like oh you want to be out here having sex and and had making babies get out of my house so he mm -hmm. was homeless at 15 caring for a child and then his baby mama took off 11 so he could he was he wasn't even old enough to get a job so he was in the trap selling drugs to take care of his child and i think i think he really just did not have respect for women mm. 
and as a whole. That's just my, uh, uh, him, and I think there are other men out here that uh, feel the same way. Mm-hmm. Let me let me go to Leonard. They, they, hey, sure, let, let, me, let me go to Leonard for a minute oh, and, 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 and mute, mute your phone because Hello? Uh, mute, mute your phone, Sherry, because there's a lot of background noise coming from your line. Mute your phone for me and, and hold on, okay? Okay. Let, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going in and out. Okay, uh, mute, mute your phone. Mute your, oh, we lost her. We lost her. Mm-hmm. But, um, Leonard, do you think it's, it's, it's a theme of disrespect? Well, first of all, I, I'm glad we, we heard Sherry. Mm-hmm. Because now it, it it comes out why I have an issue with the question. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not do. Mm-hmm. It's why. Mm-hmm. Why? Okay, tell me why. Do men victimize women? Mm-hmm. And it's based in being a man. Mm-hmm. It is root. Hold on, Leonard. No, no, no. It is no, root. Yes, no, yes, yes, no. yes. No, yes. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Well, I mean, I can't, you don't. Well, come up with something better. Be, be, uh, no, be, because I think, I think is it a, a part of it is I I think now this is just me and I want people to call in. The phone lines are open six seven eight three eight one one nine seven three. I think a lot of it is or piece or part of it is because of the fact that. That they're not men because a real man, if a real man, if he have a woman and 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 he know that she's a good woman, he's gonna love, honor, and respect that woman. I don't know where you live. I uh, well, uh, where that, you were born and how I, you were I've been raised. Married, I've been married. I've been married to right. my wife. Man, 20, you, 20, 20, that's you're talking about. You. I can only talk for my. I can only right, talk for my. Right. I can only okay, talk for my. Okay. Okay. Now yeah. I understand. Yeah. That. I understand that. Okay. Now. Yeah. But mm-hmm. that is not the nature mm-hmm. of man. Mm-hmm. Is that the way that God designed it to be, though? It, 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 have we have have men gone against the whole this, creation of what God has created to because of uh, 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 their sick and, and and immature ways of doing things? I don't. I don't. Um, I don't dare pretend mm-hmm. to know God that way. Mm-hmm. So. What is is what is, and we have to backtrack from there, Leonard, because you got, we can only go back. You got, you got, you got somebody, somebody defending you here, man. Uh, Miss, uh, Miss Karen Bryant. Hey, Miss Bryant. She said, "Let Leonard finish his thought, please." <laughs> <laughs> she jumping all over this morning. Go ahead, Miss Bryant. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let him finish, and I ain't gonna say a word. And go. it's a, uh, it's a very uncomfortable fact, I think, for women to accept. Mm-hmm. And. It is what has been fought against. The feminist movement has fought against it. The feminist movement particularly was the first Mm -hmm. actual all-out attack Mm -hmm. on man this way. Feminism came out of victimization. Mm -hmm. Women victimized who took that national stand and made it a movement Mm -hmm. to bring attention to it. Males are dominant. Dominance is in defeating others, making others submit, Mm -hmm. and controlling them. And when this is done Mm. this way, it becomes very dangerous and toxic. Men have used the word of God Mm -hmm. so horribly Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, and turned it into what it is today. Evil. Yes. And Mm -hmm. even if you... Before this little thing we call America started, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. women have always been tortured by men. Mm-hmm, okay, men even before race existed, mm-hmm. sexism existed. Yes, it did. Now you talk about God, this, this, that, and the other. No one was there. Mm-hmm. No one knows what happened. No one knows about the conversation. No one can even verify it as fact. But we do have an issue. With male dominance. Mm -hmm. It is dangerous. It is toxic. Mm -hmm. It always has Mm -hmm. been. Mm -hmm. It is the same thing that caused the rift with the devil. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something. And I understand what you're saying. And and, and I I have to admit that you're not off base with with what you're saying with the power thing. And how the dominance and stuff like that. But my thing is, if a person has power and they use that power in the right way. Then we all could 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 benefit from that because because and, and I I equate it from a, a parent and a child because you have power over that child that does not mean that you have to uh, chest out the child be cruel to the child because you have power over that child if you like I said yesterday we we spoke about this yesterday if I with my grandkids 
if, 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 if they do something that I'm not too pleased with, I don't tower over them. I'm the big, uh, grown, big, grown, strong adult. You're going to do what I say. I don't do that. I, I kneel down or I bend down and I get down to their level and I look them in the eyes and I talk to them and I ask them questions. Why did you do that? You know that's wrong. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. And I try and explain to them at their level what it is that they should do and how they should handle that situation. To me, that's power. Power is to me is not I'm, I'm, I'm stronger than you. I'm bigger. I'm bad. I'm stronger than you. You're going to do what I say because of the fact that I'm bigger. I'm bad. I'm stronger than you. That's not power. Well, to me, power is just the ability to accomplish something, to get to do work. Mm-hmm. But it's 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 corrupting. It is very because for the very simple fact that I'm bigger Mm -hmm. and I can Mm -hmm. and I'm a man, Mm -hmm. I will. Mm -hmm. This is my will. Mm -hmm. If you look at if you want to go by the biblical text, Mm -hmm. man created first. This has been used to dominate over women, not to love them, Mm -hmm. but to subordinate them. This is why there's so many, so many issues and have been within the church. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Women do all the work. Yes, they do. While men sit around and put on ass. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at, now, women in the animal kingdom as well. It, right, yeah. and women coveted mm-hmm. that position and wanted to be equal to mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And so now they are. Mm-hmm. However, mm-hmm. we listen to Sherry. Now. We will usually hear this story from a woman. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Not from a man mm-hmm. because of the difference. And men don't want to discuss it. And so we have to understand that women have a need and now want to share power. Mm-hmm. What they may not understand on their side of the coin is that power comes with great responsibility. Mm-hmm. She, uh, Karen said that, um, and they do it. Because they can get away with it. Yes. Karen, if you have a minute, give us a call. 678-381-1973. 678-381-1973. I'd love to hear your heart. Uh, if you have a minute, give us a call. And the phone lines are open. 678-381-1973. Asking the question, do men victimize women? Do men victimize women? And it would be strange. I'm wondering why you came up with this question. Do you know the discussion going on in social media right now related mm. to... Tyler Perry's latest movie. No, I that's what the movie's all about. Mm. Taking advantage mm. of women. Wow. 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 We got a caller. Hold on. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Uh, my name is Mr. LeBurn Morgan. I'm actually a truck driver. I'm a PA. Caller, but PA. Okay. What, what's, your, what's your name, <laughs> sir? LeBurn Morgan. Hey, brother Raheem. Hey, LeBurn. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, nothing much. I'm growing on the road, and I saw y'all been on Facebook. Yes, sir. That topic, I don't know. I don't know the topic that is that's the topic about how a man uses uh, the biblical text to dominate a woman. But there's something that we have to realize and know about that, though. When the Lord says that, when He gives that word, if you notice, love is incorporated with that. If there is no genuine love. Of course, men, if they don't understand or they don't have the wisdom of God, they will rule their house with the iron fist. They will be dom- They will try to dominate a woman. You see, the thing is, not saying that y'all are doing it, but the text is, the, the, the Bible is spiritual. Mm-hmm. It's alive. And in order to understand it, see, we have to not only read not just one scripture, but line upon line, precept upon precept. That command that the God has given to the man it has to be coupled with his love. See, God's love teaches us how to love our wife. But if you ain't got the love of God on the inside of you, which is shared abroad in our by the Holy Spirit, you won't be able you won't be able to do what the law says. And yes, I agree with the uh, brother who was talking. Yeah, men do. Men do because they, they, they think just because they were created first that everything they say has to go. But I said like that. No, it's not like that. Mm-hmm. A woman is not supposed to walk in front nor behind, but walk beside you. Mm-hmm. And let me let me let me say this right here because let, let's go into a definition. And 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 we talked. The, the topic is: Do men victimize women? 
Now, let's if we understood what 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 that second word men is, and 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 dealt with men and not grown boys, then we would have a, it would be a totally different conversation because uh, I think <laughs> I think that a man and and I said this earlier I think that a man would love respect and honor his woman to the point where he's not going to try to uh, demean her or disrespect her or put her down or or belittle her. He's not going to try and do that. I, I don't, I don't know why you think that, Raheem. I I, I, I can only I, from where I, I can only talk from where I live. Uh, for, where I, for my life experiences, and that's that's all I'm coming from because I know that I would. My wife, we've been married, for, like I said, for 23 years, man, and um, and she's my equal. Well, you know, you got shelters full of women. You got women out here in the streets. You got women here running. You got women who can't reveal their name, their address, or nothing because of some man. Yeah, grown boy. No man. Mm. Mm. Grown. I, we I, gonna, I, he's I, responsible. I said grown boy. He is mm-hmm. a man, regardless, a mm-hmm. bad man, good man. Irresponsible man, whatever. It's a man. Uh, again, we have to go into the definition of, of what a man is, and 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 and, and it, I, I think it, it's more than just a, a physical structure or an age. Well, first of all, we not we gonna quit saying man. We are gonna just say human. Okay. Okay. Before the very simple fact that one, there is nothing that that really uh, complex mm-hmm. about being a man. Mm-hmm. It's just not. You can make babies so early. And everything physically, you start to do certain things before you become 21. Mm-hmm. I had given my life to the military long before I was 21. Mm-hmm. So I was making this. I, if you want to say it that way, I was a man at 13, 14 years old. Mm. I had the same thought. I sat in the council and counseled men. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But see, and, and, and because of I can only, the gift, I can only, I can only re- respect your opinion on it. And like I say, I, you know, I, I would never say anything against your opinion. But that's because right. that's where you live. But where I live is is, is different. Now. It's more than just you, you can have a sixty year old uh, 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 grown boy. Well, that's what you want to call him. Mm-hmm. But he's still a man, regardless. Like God, God is everyone's going to stand about, before the throne. How Men, about, boys, how about girls, if I whatever. Say he's still, how about if I, how about if I say he's still a male? He's irresponsible. I, you know, what if I say he's he's still a male? And that don't necessarily mean that he's a man, well, but he's a male. That's because and, 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 you want to compare yourself mm-hmm, to him. Mm-hmm. No, and that's no, the thing no. about that's the same thing with white folks and racism. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You ain't a man. Mm-hmm. They said you wasn't a man. Mm-hmm. Were they true? No. No. There was a lie. There was answer, a lie from hell. They say. I don't answer to what they say. So, mm-hmm. Jesus was about his business at 13, 14 years old. Mm-hmm. So, when we talk about men, man, man, it's okay for conversation's sake. Uh-huh. But let's broaden that. First of all, the question was do. Yes, that's the answer. I don't care what nobody call in here and say. Mm-hmm. That's the answer. Mm-hmm. So, we don't need no one else's opinion. Mm-hmm. Why? Is the conversation, mm-hmm. and like the brother just mentioned, so let, let, let's deal with the, let's deal with the why. Prefaced for with love, let's this with conversation is non-existent. Okay, but let's deal with the why. Yeah, why? Why do you think it is? Because they can, mm-hmm. and because they have a will to do so. Mm-hmm. And God has given man mm-hmm. the ability to do what He wants to do, mm-hmm. and, and He woman. chooses to victimize and woman. So, so is, is she wrong for being the victim? I don't know if you can be wrong for being a victim. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not sure. That's 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 a, a, a very high ethical question. Mm-hmm. I don't believe you can be wrong being a victim because the nature of being a victim is being taken advantage of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or tricked mm-hmm. or, you know, this is how you fall into becoming a victim. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to get uh, uh, this contemporary what's fashionable conversation. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. With the me too, this, that, and exactly. all that. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's yeah, foolishness yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. That's victimization. Oh, let, it, let it. But it's a crime. Mm-hmm. Take it to the law. Mm-hmm. Get it done, get it over with. Mm-hmm. All that extra is a therapy session. Let me do this. Hold on. Before you go any further, let me go to this caller. We have a caller. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Hi, this is Karen. Hey, Karen. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing good. Good doing morning, good. Karen. Karen, I need to hear your Good heart. Morning. I need to hear your heart, sister. I need to hear your heart. Do men victimize women? Of course they do. Mm-hmm. Now, 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 <laughs> what, 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 what is the underlying thing? Why do you think that is? And, and, and is this something? And I asked Linda the question a second ago: Are women wrong for being victims? 
I, I don't think you're wrong for being one. Um, I think I don't, I don't think a woman is wrong for being a victim. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's a choice to remain one. Yes. Good. 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 That's good. That's good. Go ahead. Go ahead, sister. You got the floor. Go ahead. Um, if you when you find out what's going on, you recognize it, or someone brings it to your attention, of course you got to gain the strength and the will to remove yourself. Uh, but you should definitely, a woman should definitely work on a plan to get out. Yes. If you remain in it, mm-hmm. you know, there are agencies that can help, but sometimes it becomes more damaging than help. If you've never been in that situation before, it's difficult to help someone get out of something that you know nothing about. Mm-hmm. Right. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, you, you seek help and advice, and it, it takes a lot um, because a lot of times women are re- victims because of the mindset that they have developed in mm-hmm. that situation. Um, it takes Karen, let, me ask, let, let, me ask, let me ask you this question, and, and, and I'm, I'm glad you said that. Uh, do you think that once a woman is victimized in a certain way, and Karen said, Karen uh, uh, kind of went in this direction a little bit without going deeply into it. But do you think if a woman is victimized one time, she has the potential of always being a victim because she still she, she falls in that same rut again and again and again until she wakes up? If she isn't taught better or doesn't learn better, yes, she'll return back to that, I mm. believe. Wow. Because you don't... You're familiar. It's familiar. Mm-hmm. And the, one of the hardest things to do to me in life is to turn away from what you're familiar with. Mm-hmm. Wow. Lena, what do you say to that? Do you think that, that this young lady uh, could have the potential? We're certainly not going to say that she will or always will, but does she, does she have the potential to continue to be a victim? Uh, uh, um, different, same, different person, same situation. It's her behavior. Mm-hmm. If I was a predator, mm-hmm. come on, I would watch your behavior. Mm-hmm. I learn my prey, mm-hmm. and this is what men simply do. See, when you have, there is something about some women, and it is feminine. Mm-hmm. It is very far away. Not, no, I won't. I won't say very far. They like to be told they're cute. Yeah, yeah. They like to be made to feel special. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's easy to trap women this way. Yeah. To appeal to that nature in them mm-hmm. that wants attention. Yes, sir. So once the predator captures your attention, mm-hmm. he got you. He got you. Mm-hmm. God for see, that's mental. Mm-hmm. Once you let him into your body, mm-hmm. you have lost this fight. Yep. And you're going to endure that struggle until, like the young lady says, you escape. Mm -hmm. You get away from it. You have to fix that in you, women. Mm -hmm. That makes you so needful Mm -hmm. of this attention. A lot of it, and, and, and I hate the way it has happened, and I think it's because of the man that I am. Yeah, yeah. I have a, a distaste for men this way. Mm hmm. And I will always protect the feminine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Always. Mm-hmm. Not just feminine, but even the weaker. And that's what I was going to ask you. A lot of times, I, I want to make sure that people yeah. understand. When, when, we, when, when you say that, the weaker, yes. are, are, are you referring to the, the young ladies as weaker? And not no, in a disrespect. They can't defend way. themselves. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I say that not in a disrespect. Let me do this. We have some issues. Um, Karen, can I get you to do me a favor? Yes. Uh, can I get you to my, my, my phone line? There's an issue going on with my phone. I got people trying to call in and it's not allowing them to come through. Can I get you to hang up, wait one minute, and then call right back? I'm, I'm going to turn it off and turn it right back on to make sure that we can get everybody in there. Can I get you to call back in just one minute? Sure. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate and, it. And, you know, we, we have to understand that, and women have to understand that as well. I do understand the, the need mm-hmm. to be protective. Mm-hmm. But do understand 
there is a lion out here. Yes. That when he wants you, he will come and destroy everything to have you. He will break you down and make you his own mm-hmm. and make you subservient. Yes. You need to stay away from that joker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, our bishop was speaking to women and he told women, you can sit down with this foolishness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing you can do with an out of control man, but go the other way. Yeah, exactly. Don't exactly. even think for mm-hmm. a moment mm-hmm. that you can defeat him. Wow. Because he will chew you up and keep moving to the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that and that is I am not sure if we if we want to say fair or what have you. Mm-hmm. But th- that's why when I say I don't use my words as God's words. Mm-hmm. Because I have no idea why God created it yeah. this way. Mm-hmm. Why he made us so much bigger. Mm-hmm. And and we have such a capacity for destruction. Yeah. That it is amazing to me. Mm-hmm. And, and, and you know, the Bible does not do Christians the best service on these details. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and, and there is just a evil spirit that seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes, sir. It does it to women. It does it to children. Mm-hmm. And I believe it is masculine in origin. Mm-hmm. And that one it is what is, look at all the world leaders and the wars and things. Man has done this. Mm-hmm. Man has been the cause of so much dissension and, and, and division for their own personal agendas. Mm-hmm. It could be something that just woke up and just hated everybody. You know what? I'm, I'm going to be the only man, so I'm going to kill all the rest. Mm. The alpha male. The Psycho be alpha. is yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Let me do this. We, we, have a, we have a caller. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Good morning, Annie from Mississippi. Annie from Mississippi. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I am right. doing well. Anna, ask the question: Do men victimize women? Do men victimize women? What do you say to that? You're talking about abusing, victimize. You mean make them victims? Yes. Where, make, where, where are we going with make, this? Make, make abusing? Them vic- yeah, abusing in, in all kind of in all elements of, of of the word. Do men just victimize women? Uh, I think so, you know, because I'm on my treadmill, so if I sound funny, just look over me this morning. But I think that uh, that men have been, have always victimized women. Always. Uh, you know, and abuse, you know, uh, we have to look at abuse. Uh, it, there are so many forms of it. It ain't just physically. You can you can do a lot, a lot of damage to a woman mm-hmm. by the way you treat her. Mm-hmm. But, and she would have to live with that, and then she'll move on to the next person. But that hurt and that pain and, and that distrust is still there. So, you know, I would say yes. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I, I have to agree with you, but my thing is, and Leonard said he didn't want to use the word fair, but I'm going, I'm going to waver on it just a little bit. Is that fair in the way that you all are being treated? And second part, second part of the question or have you all allowed it to happen? Uh, it's not fair uh, uh, for a person to abuse you on any level. Mm-hmm. And um, what's the, the second part of the question was what now? Have you all allowed it to happen? A lot of women have allowed it to happen. A lot of women, you know, because we're in a time now where, you know, no one wants to be alone. People look at you if you're alone like something wrong with you. Mm-hmm. You know, being uh, I know several guys who have become widows, and you know that, and they they uh, go on until eternity, not marrying again. They they don't want to get yoked up again. But you know, uh, a lot of times we do allow it to happen mm-hmm. because because of um, our low self esteem. Lots of women have low self esteem. Uh, okay, okay. Let's okay. okay. let's let, let, let's stay right there for a second. It, it, and, and and you're right. A lot of women do have low self esteem. But what part did a man play in them having that? And it does that uh, go? Does that go back to the victimization? It, it does go back. And the part that the man play is a, a man. Okay, a good woman. A lot of time, a good woman will be walked on. A lot of time, a person who who don't have no nothing in. Uh, it, you know, nothing for you, but, but you know, to make you happy mm-hmm. and, and to please you and to do all the things that a woman do. And in the end, you know, she may end up being hurt. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And because she put everything that she had in this person, she put her trust in this person. No one could tear her, but this person, this person was not for her. She didn't see that. He could be the ugliest person in the world. She may see something totally, totally different. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the way he act, not the way he looked. Mm-hmm. But she may see something totally different. And a lot of females feel like, okay, well, let me have, uh, at least he loved me on, on a Friday. At least he loved me on a Thursday, you know, b- because that's how men have taken us. A lot of women, I believe Raheem, have turned to females because they were tired of being hurt by men. Not mm. all of them, but I believe some of them have. And I believe that. So men play a major role in a woman having low self-esteem. Men play a major role, you know, uh, in this day and time, how you allow women to take care of you, how you allow her to go out to these $8 an hour jobs and work two or three jobs while you sit on the couch. And you know what she's going through. And you mm. treat her like she's nothing. Men play a major role in that. Mm. You know, one, one, um, I agree with one thing Annie was saying. Mm-hmm about the issue and you know comparing and contrasting it to where it used to be to where it is now and the fight mm-hmm. and everything like this that and the other and which was the reason why some women have backed away from the feminist movement mm-hmm. that's what equality is yeah mm-hmm. and see mm-hmm. people have been duped to now we got all the legal stuff and we know the things that were done uh, uh, like discrimination and things like that mm-hmm. but then there's another level of equality that we, 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 we have issues with. Okay. Now, I don't owe you no courtesy. Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. you equal. Yeah. Hey, m- mutual line for me, Annie. That, that, that type of okay. courtesy that I would I'm give a sorry. woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Say, friends, we'll just say women playing football. Yeah. Tackle? Football, period. Okay, okay, okay. Because men do it, I want to do it. Mm-hmm. It's a different story on the field. Yes, it is. See, because I'm not gonna not, I'm not gonna hit you soft. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you like every other man yeah. come out there. Go run through you. And the woman needs to decide: Do she want to be in this game that way? Mm. Because if you choose to be in that game this way, Mm -hmm. you got just as much a chance of losing as I do. No man has no reason to respect you for any Mm -hmm. other reason whatsoever. He's out to get what he wants. Mm -hmm. You should be out to get what you want. Could it should the judgment in the stands be the same? Be equal? I mean, if that's the way you want to play this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? See that's the thing right there. Because a lot of time, your own lookers, people that's looking on in the stands, uh, they will want you to, you know. Be a little soft with her. She, so, so she's a woman. See, but I'm, she, but I'm not going to be at home with self-esteem issues because yeah. you don't like me. Come on. I'm not. On, I'm going to go find a woman that do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm not waiting on you to ask me to marry you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You waiting on me to ask yeah. you. Mm-hmm. When a man finds the wife. That's what I read. See, that's by design. Yeah, yeah. come on. We come don't on. Under- fully understand that design. Mm-hmm. If we do not preface it with love, it's something Terrible. I'm terrible. Absolutely. We got another caller. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? 678 area code. What's your name? Where you calling from? Oh, good morning. Y'all, y'all already know. It's me, Toya with the T. Hello. Toya good morning, tea. young lady. How you doing? Toya with the T. Good morning. Toya, we're asking a question. Do men victimize women? We got another caller. Caller, we're coming to you in just one second. Do men victimize women? What do you say to that? Yeah, y'all do. And everything that John just said is right. And, and to me... That's exactly why the Lord going to make men sit down and women going to rise up. Because absolutely, you're right. Man, yes. if I'm a war man, you should handle me differently. Man, just because you, oh, oh, you want to do what I do, I'm going to treat you like a man. But what about the times when y'all break down, y'all need us to nurture you? Do we treat y'all like that when y'all get sick? Do we treat y'all like that if you got kids and all? We have sympathy and compassion. Mm-hmm. So now, because I'm trying to show you my strength, which whether you want to know, did or not, I am stronger than you because I got a re- I got everything you got plus extra real. So now I might not do it physically in strength, but I'm built and designed in so many ways to be able to hold everything you can down and some. So absolutely, you're right. So, you so did I hear you say do what you're supposed to do did as I heard, a male? Did I hear you say that you're strong? And and I understand you're not mean, you're not meaning that when you say it in a physical sense. I understand that part. But did you say? Did I hear you say that women are stronger? And some. That's what that extra rib is for. Y'all can't have no babies right around. Take care of them for the rest of your life. A few might. A few might. But the design of a man is just different. Certain things I just can't deal with, like what we can deal with. Certain things you just can't do. And it's defined in a lot of ways scientifically. The willpower is really what's stronger. 
Mm-hmm. A man and a woman get left in the desert together. A man, oh, Lord, die first. That woman is going to keep on fighting. Please don't let her have no kids. Let me add. So, okay. I mean, at the end of the day, I understand the original design, but it's still for Adam to sit up there and say, Lord, she touched that fruit, not to say it's the woman you gave me. So, mm-hmm. no, you should not want to hit me harder because I'm a female and I said I want to play. Okay, so, so, play, so hold on, hold on. Just like on. you hit anybody else. Yeah, okay, okay. So, if you're on that football field, it's fair game. Is that what I'm hearing you say? Don't hit me harder because I'm a female. She's saying the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of what yeah, you just said. I know, I know. And, and, and that is, exactly. you know, before this, in the 50s mm-hmm. and things like that, it was a term that was common. And men, women find it very offensive. Mm-hmm. And I think I wrote an essay about it in college a long time ago, mm-hmm. undergrad. Being in your place. Mm. Wow. Man, you about to call something. You about to call something. See, that's what I think. It's because, <laughs> one, when you get... Out of place, mm. you have problems. Mm. See, I ain't got no business telling a woman mm-hmm. how to be a woman. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. I understand. She, she run that. Mm-hmm. I run this over here. Mm-hmm. So when we get into this one, this struggle for power, it's a struggle for dominance. Mm-hmm. You can't get in the game like one. That's why we have certain things, you know, a handicap. Yes. A handicap is for the lesser able person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, to even the playing field, you have to allow a handicap. Mm-hmm. That's why a lot of times men don't compete with women in certain sports. But there are some women who can. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because of their training and everything. Mm-hmm. But now, I have the power to remove all compassion from my being. Mm-hmm. And and treat everybody equal on that playing field. I have the no. I'm I'm gonna go worse than that mm-hmm. because I want people to understand where this violence comes from, mm-hmm. where this evil comes from. Mm-hmm. Men can slit babies' throats mm-hmm. and not feel a thing. Mm-hmm. They can kill, slaughter, and destroy, and then party about it. Mm. Now. If any man does not understand this, then I don't understand how he's controlling it. There is something in you that had to be taught. Now, see, Leonard, you 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 you're taking this thing to oh, you you switch a lot of pages because when well, you it's say what God you say says separates like you from Him. But see, yeah, I understand that part. But what I'm, what I'm saying is right here when you say that right there, you're talking about a, a, a different level of evil. Because talking, this talking, is what talking, this is. This is where this came level. from. That's a totally, that's a totally this is where level victimization evil, evil. comes from. A different level of evil? Yes. Mm-hmm. And people have to realize that that's why we have to constantly pray against it. And we have to constantly have some type of moral value and principle mm-hmm. okay, that separates that. us some from this evil nature. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is the, that, if, if I could come where did it come from? Any... Where, 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 let, let, let's go a little deeper than that. Leonard. Where did it come from? What, 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 if, if you could say, and, and we can't put our hand on it, right. we put our hand right. on the pen, we can't do that. But if, if, if you could go back and, and, and say, was it with the Adam and the Eve situation? No, because I'm not, a, I'm not a strong believer in Adam and Eve that way. Mm-hmm. But what I do believe is that I'm created oh, in God's image. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've heard of stories of God's wrath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know it's in me. Mm-hmm. But what he did not give me was omnipotence. Okay. Karen said, and, and Karen, if you're available, give us a call. Karen said, uh, um, let me read what she says. Sometimes Leonard, women just don't want to be dominated. Right. Sometimes they just don't well, want to be dominated. What man ever wants to be? None. But let, we got another call. No, I wouldn't oh, say that either. Well, well, I'm just saying. A, 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 a real I'm just man, saying. a real man, well, a real man. Your, I, there you go with your, I, I, with, your with your with uh, your titles. I, 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 can, I, I can only, I there can only you go with for your me, titles for again. me, for me. I can only speak <laughs> from what, what the, the life I've lived, and I ain't no no. Nah. Why can't you say just man? I'm, I'm a man. Just say man I, then. Nah, Don't say nothing else. No, nah, just gonna say man. man. No, I ain't gonna do that. I, I, I talk from my life experience. Because there are some people who believe that God meaning man mean everyone. Mm-hmm. Mean man, man and woman. Exactly. You got to deal with it on that level, man. Man yeah. is man. Let me do this. We got another caller. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? <laughs> Two Southern. Two Southern. <laughs> Boy, we about, we, to turn, we about to turn another page, y'all. We about to turn another page. Oh, Good morning, Donald. Come with the smooth right here. 
That's Mr. Good Smooth. Morning. That's Mr. Smooth. 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 Good morning. He, oh, okay. Good, good, good morning, morning, Mr. Smooth. It's, it's about to get. It's about to get kind of rough. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Do men victimize women? I don't. I don't oh, man, you know what? How in the world can somebody just invade my territory? without me being a, having a hand in it. Mm. Listen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. let me, I, I hate to put this out. Let me just say a person. I almost want to say is, mm -hmm. but I can't do it because it might be. Anyway, I feel you. Mm -hmm. came to me, came you to me yeah. mm -hmm. and said, I am getting married and it's going to cost you. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah? Um, who are you married? Mm-hmm. My my baby daddy. I say that ain't gonna cost me a dime mm -hmm. because I'm not gonna allow. I'm not gonna help nobody bring you down. Mm -hmm. Okay. They didn't see it at the time. Stopped speaking to me for about three months mm -hmm. and came to me and said, "You were right. Mm. Wasn't trying to be right." Thank you. But I wasn't going to allow them to let nobody preach, put them in a predicament that mm -hmm. I clearly seen. Mm -hmm. My question was, where does he stay with his sister? Mm. Does he have a job? He cut hair on the side. Mm. Okay, you got to have a job to cut hair on the side. And, and, and people get involved with people that have no income, no morals, no values. And then they want to blame the person they hook up with for their own issues Come because on. of the fact that we have this repetitive thing that we are magnet for disaster. I don't blame nobody for my my issues. Somewhere along the line, I made some wrong choices. That's me. right. Mm -hmm. Me, not nobody else. Me. And some kind of way, I have to look in within myself. And say, you better stop that cycle. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that being hurt that I'm careful about what I'm saying, but I'm serious about it. I'm saying, you can't blame nobody else. Mm -hmm. This is choices but you see, make. Let, let, let me, you male okay, that, female, that, 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 that's, that's good, just, but let me that's ask you this. My, that's just my No, 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 no that's good. That, that, no, 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 that's good. Hey, I, 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 you know how we do here, man. We get everybody the right to say what they want to say, man. So I ask, that's why I asked the question, what's on your heart? Not nobody, not, nobody, nobody else's heart. What's on your heart? That's why I asked it that way. But let me ask you this. Do you think a lot of times, and we spoke about this a little bit earlier, do you think a lot of times a woman that has been victimized one time has the capacity to continue to be victimized over and over again by different individuals in the same way. How is it? How is it that, okay, the last person mm -hmm. and the next person did you the same way? Now, if you saw it in the last person and you see the characteristics in the person you with, when are you going to break that off? Without, you, okay, the last person sat on the couch while you worked, worked two or three jobs. Mm -hmm. And the one you with mm -hmm. sitting on the couch with you working two or three jobs. Put him out. There you go. Mm -hmm. And end the cycle. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's and good. be done with that. And I, make better choices. And good, go forward. Good deal. The phone lines are open. 678-381-1973. 678-381-1973. Do men victimize women? Do men victimize women? Is the question. We got another caller. Caller, what's your name? Where you're calling from? Morning, right here. Morning, fellas. Morning, Good ladies. morning, brother. Curry, Curry, Curry. You, you sound you sounding better this morning. You, you sounding better this morning, brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was a rough week, but I'm all right, baby. I'm all right. Good deal. Good deal. Asking the question, asking the questions, man. Do men victimize women? Do men victimize women? Curtis, what do you say to that? You know what? I'm not even going to nuke it down to just men because that, 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 um, two days has passed, man. It's mm -hmm. 2020, man. We, we can't stay on that. It, it, it the victimization of, of human beings 
Cause, cause in and now in today's world, you got more women exactly victimizing. Have you ever heard of relationship bullying? Mm -hmm. You ever heard of narcissistic bullying? Um, um, I see it every day. I live in it every day. Um, you ever heard of the terminology called victim stancing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, the whole premise of the question is is gated in a stereotype from the 80s and 90s the whole premises of the question has it changed um, has it changed uh, since yeah, since yeah, since, yeah, since and before that time has it changed because even back in those days uh 60s 70s 80s how far you want to go back have men been victimized and women and have and have that changed at all even here in 2020 is the same situation happening well it, 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 it has changed drastically. I mean, if you just pay attention to your TV, it'll show you a change. Exactly. Look at your reality shows. Mm -hmm. Most of your reality shows that's on the executive producers is not men. It's women. I mean, every, everything everything advances, but that doesn't mean it changed. You know, we we yes, looked at does. we looked at TV back in the day, and we had rabbit ears on the top of the TV. We used to, you know, have black and white, and now we got all these little flat screens that, that you know you just hang on the wall and all kind of thing. There was a progression in television. Everything changed. You know, we was back in analog, now we are digital. Everything changed. Everything progresses, but that does not mean that a change is still the same. The nucleus, the basis of it, is still the same, and so the victimization of it is still the same. Yes, it has advanced. Yes, you have women doing different things. But at the same time, you got to understand the victimization of these women still could be the same. So my question is, has it changed? It, it, what, what, what do you mean? Has it? Well, the, I, I can't even begin to understand the premises of your question because if you really look at what's going on, are, man, men, are men still uh, victimizing women today? Are men still victimizing women? Yeah, but all at the same time, in today's world, you got more women victimizing men. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? It's no longer uh, it's no longer a, a, a issue of uh, is men still victimizing women. The issue is are people now victimizing each other? And that is what happens. See, 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 we change. We y'all 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 are changing the whole dynamics of, of what we're talking about. Let's let's stay where we are right now. Let's, well, this is what and this mm -hmm. is what I was when we talked about mm -hmm. before, and you made those comments and mm -hmm. those definitions and things like that. Mm -hmm. This is what power does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The capacity to victimize individuals, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the exactly. balance of power has changed. Exactly, uh, and it has put uh, women uh, in the seat uh, to mm. be just as evil as men. Okay, I, I can agree with that, but at the same time, the, that y'all are going again, y'all are going away from the question. Let's deal with the question. We don't right? own we'll, 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 we'll deal. We'll, we'll deal with the other. We'll do another broadcast dealing with the other elements, and because they are there, right? It, it is there. We'll, we'll do another show, but right now, let's deal with do men um, do men victimize women? Let's let's stay right there. Hey, so. so <laughs> So look, why is it that that when 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 we, when men when women get tired of dominant men, they choose a dominant woman? Wow! And they get, thank you. They, wow! They get they get tired of a woman. <laughs> man abuses them, so you, they get a woman to abuse. Them. So you have to mm -hmm. go to the minor leagues because mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll wow. eat you up here. Wow! So you got to go to the pee wee league. See, so you got to mm -hmm. go pick on somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Let, let, let's, we got some women on the line. Toya, what's on your heart right now? I don't to think we got Toya on there. She's probably on the mute. Toya? No, she's still there. But that's, um, and while she comes back, I just wanted to mention, that's why one of the reasons why I don't argue mm -hmm. with women. Mm -hmm. I got, I got, hold on. I got somebody. And, and, and are you there? I am. Okay, and, and then talk to me. What, what, what's on your heart right now? So I think I, uh, when you were talking about um, men, women going to women, and I, I do understand that part, but you know, I, I believe it starts from, it has to, if, if we want to stop being victimized, it starts from within. Yes. It start, you have to make up your mind that, look, this joker done hurt me, he done walked over me, he done be, uh, beat me up more time mentally, that he have physically, and you know, I'm not going to go through this again. Mm -hmm. And we have to make up in our minds that you know, I'm not the voicemail box of 
four zero four three two four. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. We have to make up in our, up in our minds and, and, you know, and within ourselves and tell ourselves that, you know, I'm not going down here anymore because a lot of time, and I don't know why it's like this right here, uh, women is abused. I don't know why it happens, but when they, when they leave this, a lot of times they will go to another abusive person. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if, it, if it's just, you know, a cycle within them, you know. But like I said, we have to make in our minds that this is not how I want to live. Mm -hmm. This is not how God created me. You know, God created me to love and to be loved. And if you can't respect me and love me the way that God intended you to love me, then I don't need you. And you move on. Be better to a bunch of women will, will go from one, you know, from one cycle to another cycle. Now, when I was married to an abusive person, I told you I stayed married for three weeks. We stayed married for exactly three weeks. He choked me on my honeymoon. He choked me, literally choked me. And we fought all that night, me, him, and my children. But I made up my mind that that was it. Mm -hmm. 21 days was, was 20 was twenty days too long in my eyesight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I moved on, I was going for someone to love me, not just physically, but mentally, and love me, me in every aspect. But yes. a lot of females don't see it like that. And, and not only that, sometimes females see as, you know, the abusive me as, oh, he just loved me. And that is so far from the truth. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, I was hold, 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 hold on, just one second. Uh, we got another caller. I, wanna, I don't know how much time we have with the caller. Caller from the 404 area code. What's your name? Where you calling from? This is Karen. I was calling you back. Okay, Karen. What's on your heart right now, Karen? Well, uh, you asked a question about has, um, to the other gentleman, I don't remember his name, but you asked, about um, victimization, has it changed? I think that it has changed now in the sense that there's so many women that um, fight over one man. So you got women uh, made reference to the reality shows, mm -hmm. which I believe is all a plot just to make money, fake get people to watch reality. this foolishness yeah. Yeah. and make money. Um, these networks, that's the only thing they're concerned about but you got the women now fighting to be with one man which makes the man look even better in the eyesight of some so the women either fight over a man or they settle for sharing a man mm. versus how it was before when it was a man and a woman now, i'm not saying that you know people didn't cheat but um, before it was just, you know, a man and a woman. That's what we were conditioned to, mm -hmm. um, the way we were conditioned to live, the way we were taught that things were supposed to be. But now in this society, you see shows where there's one man and he's got four or five wives and looking for another one. And they all live in their own little community or in their own house. Or and you see them now, like you said, the reality shows where women are fighting and pulling off wigs and weeds and it's because they're with you know another man or it's just gotten crazier but mm -hmm. still in the middle of all of that the women are the victims to me mm -hmm. that's just my view the woman is still the victim yes if you love this man and he ha you can't share your love with a bunch of different men you get called some very derogatory names mm -hmm. but the man can share his with as many as he chooses to and it's okay it ain't love exactly exactly it's not love Leonard you was about to say something what's, what's on your heart brother we, we um, and I knew the conversation would go this way mm -hmm. and I wanted to stop because Steve Harvey wrote that one book what is mm -hmm. it think Think like, a, think like a, a man and act like a woman or something like that or something like that yeah. mm -hmm. and this is what women have to understand mm -hmm. you need to learn Mm -hmm. to notice this type of man that will do these types of things. So am, am I hearing you say you have to learn, they have to learn the game? or Yes. And you also have to realize the reason why you need to take time mm -hmm. to notice Joker. Mm -hmm. I mean, whatever, trust me, whatever he don't want you to know is his secret. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> See, he's mm. not going to tell you he was married before somewhere else and got kids somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Because he got to get you in the point that you forgive him for that. See, if I lay you down, the next day you'll forgive me for all that. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. That's why I got to hurry up and usually I'm just coming for sex anyway. Mm-hmm. That's why I go for it first. Mm-hmm. If you go for it first, ladies, yeah. that's what it's about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't get it twisted. Don't think you found the one. And No, he just look good. He come to do what he do to everybody else and you ain't special. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, I don't know. I, what, am I, what, what am I saying is okay. um, to learn how to play the game. Mm-hmm. That, that's that's it. You must. And, and it's great to, to have again. brothers. Mm-hmm. It's great to have fathers. Mm-hmm. And women need to have special relationships with men whom they are not intimate with yeah. this way. Yes. To understand. That's true. That's true. But at, at the same time, and, 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 and I asked you that question later, and, 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 and she, she just actually went right back to the question. Karen went right back to the question. When I said, um, are you saying that they need to learn the game? And you said yes. And then Karen just said that they need to learn how to play the game. But Yes. But is it supposed to be a game? It's not about yes. It's not supposed. It's to not be. supposed to be though. Yeah, yeah. That, but the th- the point about the thing is, when you want to do it your way, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. selfishly, selfishly. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can't trust. Mm-hmm. I'm a very unselfish person. Mm-hmm. I don't have to do anything extra to be nice. Mm-hmm. It's not out of my nature. I've always been this way. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm not into subjecting women to anything or what have you. Boom. If I, I tell you what I want up front, mm-hmm. I want because I want to have a good relationship with you, whether it's the booty call or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't want so, it to be a negative relationship. So if, if a man, if a man just want to have that part of a woman yes should he be open and honest yes. up front and tell her this this is all I'm, yes. I'm not trying to have a relationship i don't want to i don't want to be your man or yes any, okay and that's the why women yes, get caught up because they lie to themselves mm-hmm. and they wow. think it's something else i came to meet you in the nightclub because i know mm-hmm. what i pull out of a nightclub mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah I'll, I'll respect him more for being honest there, you I got to be into what it is that he is asking for mm-hmm. but i respect the fact that he even said that yeah, exactly. Hey, let me go. Let me go to Toya. Toya, what's on your heart? You already know. Hey, I got to go back to the in my place thing, but I left that alone. Oh, man, my you place. you can hit me up on that. <laughs> you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on that. I'm on that. I, I'm gonna see you in the studio tomorrow. Okay? <laughs> got that right up. Let's do but, it. Um, nah, that's not funny. That's not funny. Yeah, not I know that. It wasn't um, funny when I wrote it. <laughs> but look, but look, hold up now. Now, this is my thing. Y'all know y'all lie. I'm talking about men. Yes, now. yes. Now, me, 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 me being that woman, me being that woman, why do I have to walk around here with that? No, y'all need to check y'all But see, that's a desire that you have. Can I finish? Can I finish? You want to write those down so I can finish? Okay. Right? Because if you're a man, right? Right. You don't believe in Adam but you believe in the structure of a man. Well, let's go ahead and pull the layers all the way back then. We follow your president. We follow your lead. If you're the man and original design is supposed, you're supposed to set the president, you're supposed to lead, that means the energy that comes off you will hop off me. So when we women started getting out here way back in the day, men wanted to use us for their own sexual pleasures and share us around, and it became a condition habit for what men done. I'm talking about the first man, not all men. The one who were there first, and I know when the Lord saw the foolishness, he's like, oh, no, I need somebody to balance them out. Because they're on that foolishness down there. So let's pull back the ladies. The men need to stop playing games. I'm supposed to respect you. I'm supposed to honor you. I'm supposed to believe what you say as the man, as the leader. So I'm not going to think that I'm wrong for listening to a joker lying to me. Now, should I get to know him? Absolutely, I should. Should I take time before I give him the most precious thing of me? Absolutely, I should. But let's talk about that lying joker. Let's talk about that. Let's stop pushing him. Oh, Lord, it was that woman. Now, let's talk about you, bro. And your lack of self-respect and your lack of inability to be able to maintain yourself. Because I promise you, if it was your daughter, it would be different. So, when it comes to that level playing field, you're absolutely correct. Oh, man has the ability to do whatever they want to outside the will of God. But at the end of the day, we're not going to point no fingers and make it seem like somebody got a place and somebody got a victim. Because let me tell you something, I done victimized a lot of men. And it's going down. But I don't do that no more because it has been delivered because everything is equal. And I will not be victimized. I will victimize somebody before I allow myself to be. But I had to check myself and say, you know what, Toya? We're not going to do that. And when you come into circumstances that's like that, we're going to make adjustments that's positive. 
we're not going to keep carrying on on that cycle. So what we're talking about today, until the cycle stops, there's men listening that know they're guilty of it. If it's men listening that know they've done it before, you need to get the repentance, get the saying sorry, get the making up some old relationship that you done destroyed because we believe and trust in you like we should. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll get this thing through going forth. Just saying, go back home to your kids. Raise the son. <laughs> Maybe they stop being for looking at their mama being stupid for listening to the lies that daddy told her 17,000 times. So no, it's not my fault. It's the lying men fault. Oh, you just gonna throw all, you, 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 so, 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 you just gonna throw all the blame. You just gonna throw all the blame. I really don't disagree with her. Lions don't eat grass no more, sweetheart. <laughs> we say lions don't eat grass. <laughs> Let me do this. Let me go to Donald. Then after Donald, I'm coming to Curtis. Uh, Donald, what's on your heart, brother? Talk to me. I, I, I'm listening and I hear and I understand. I understand completely. Uh, yeah, but the, but where does the site? Okay, if you know, if you believe, mm -hmm. if you saw it coming in advance that there's a lying spirit, mm -hmm. why would we, we have right. a believe lie yeah. than yeah. the truth? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, you don't so see it in the beginning. When, well, I, I understand. I really do. But it, it's, they know it's that. all. They, it's, they know that. I, they cover I it up. I, you can't see that in the beginning. I, I don't. I don't mind listening. Go ahead, Don. No, I don't mind listening because see what what it is is that we we have an anger mm -hmm. that we repeat. In the next opportunity, and then it's not like like somebody. I think it was Sandra or somebody said, "We don't look within ourselves. We look at another person with the same characteristics, and we blame over and mm -hmm. over and over again, and we repeat the cycle, mm -hmm. and we never say, you know what? And, and then we say one other thing." You can't find Christian character in the devil. You cannot do it. Mm. Cannot do it. Mm. Kurt, what's on your heart, brother? Well, you know, I, I, I hear what's being said, and you know, I, I can um, you know, I, I feel for the ladies that allow themselves to be caught up in that. I do. You know, um, but I, because, I'm just because let me ask you, let me ask you this let me ask you this question, Curtis, and and uh, don't mean to cut you off. Let me ask you this question though: Have we, as men, all of us, victimized the woman in the past? Absolutely. And, and, and to I be have. honest with you, hold. Oh, and to be honest with you, to be honest with you, hold on. We as men have been victimized by women in the past. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go all the way back to elementary school. <laughs> Let's go all the way back to elementary school. Mm -hmm. All right? You were in elementary school, or you were in middle school, and, you know, maybe your mom and daddy gives you a little bit of extra money for lunch. Mm -hmm. All right? Little girl, she catch on that, like, okay, do eating chocolate chip cookies every morning with an extra milk. Oh, he dressed a little nice. He dressed a little snazzy. Okay. Uh, oh, let me act like I like him to suit a purpose, to get something that she wants. Once she get it, all of a sudden, the, the superstar come through, and she just, you might as well say she just mush him in his face. Mm. You know, go get up out of here. So what I'm saying is trauma starts very young, um, and it it's no longer... A de it's no longer uh, independent. Trauma no longer just belongs to women anymore. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I, that's, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that when I'm not trying to diminish the trauma that women went through. I watched my mama go through it for 21 years. Mm -hmm. It went. It, it, it got so deep, man. When I was 15, I was 15 years old, man. I didn't know my mama knew. That I kept my gun under under the under my bed under my mattress. Mm -hmm. I forgot that she flipped my mattress every thirty days, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. She went right. up under the mattress in front of me, grabbed the gun and squoke, tried to squeeze the trigger. I'm standing right there. Luckily, I had the gun on safe, but she was going to shoot my daddy dead right in front of my face. So I'm not trying to diminish the trauma that a 
woman goes through. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, listen, if we're going to talk about this topic, we can no longer divide the male from the female. We can't do that no more because that's not the situation in 2020. Mm. Women are still going through right. trauma, but the same trauma that women are going through, they are now putting that trauma on men. I'm, I'm just telling y'all, I see it. I'm okay. in sessions with I'm it every saying, day. I, I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that you won't. I'm not saying that you won't. Like I say, that's that's a totally different conversation, and we definitely can revisit that. We got two other calls. We got a caller from the two four zero area code. What's your name? Where you calling from? And then I'm going to my four zero four area code. Two four zero. What's your name? Where you calling from? Uh, uh, this is Monique. Hey, Monique, how you doing? I'm doing just fine. Good deal. Um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to comment on uh, the lady that uh, spoke a little earlier mm -hmm. about uh, that uh, we, you know, that we supposed to follow the men and listen to the men. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I just, I, I just wanted to say. Um, you know, uh, as females, that we have to have some uh, self accountability. Yes, your own constitution. I, I noticed that, you know. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. So we, we're listening to you. Uh, okay. okay. I just mm -hmm. noticed that. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I just noticed what my female friends, you know, when they. When they going through it with, you know, the men, it's always the men. But when you look at them, they they never want to hold, you know, themselves, you know, the, you know, the part that they played in it. Mm -hmm. They they never want to talk about that part. And um, at at some point, you know, you can't uh, allow somebody else. To 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 make a decision for you, they mm -hmm. they can't be accountable for you. So in other words, you you still have to do your due diligence to make sure that this man is being honest and upfront with you. Mm -hmm. You can't just believe everything he says. He you know his actions and his words have to line up, and you can't just look at his uh, actions alone. And then I noticed that, you know, women, you know, we'll say that, but when you're looking at their actions, their actions doesn't speak, you know, that they, they really care. I think some women need to, to know, you know, you know, how, you know, how is a man supposed to treat me? Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I think we have a fairy tale of that. You know, I think a lot of us think it's gifts, you know, that it's gifts and not cheating on us. You know, is okay. He he cares, you know. But I think it's a little bit more than that. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. And let uh, me, hold on one second. Let, let me go. We got another call from the four zero four area code. Four zero four. What's your name? Where you calling from? Hey y'all. Good morning. It's Anna. Hey Anna. hey Anna. Good morning. <laughs> How y'all doing? Doing this good. Is pretty deep conversation. What I've been able to hear. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, w w what do you think? Do you think? Um, do you think men victimize women? So, I, I, you know, I didn't hear the whole show. I've had a rough morning at home, but um, from what I was hearing, Monique, is Monique is her name, right? The father that was there just now. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. So what I'm hearing from her, and it is true, you're not a victim unless you allow yourself to be a Reach victim. the voice uh, mailbox yeah, of... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, go ahead. Some things we do allow, some things we do allow ourselves um, to get into others. You know, we don't know how we ended up there. But on the other hand, I don't agree that, you know... Um, lying and cheating is everything because you know there's a lot of things um, that 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 will fall you into that trap, you know, mm -hmm. and you won't realize. Okay, how did we end up here? How did all of this happen? But yes, I, and I think there's many women out there who are perfectly honest, 
there's many women out there that do the same to men. Um, I can name many times I've met people okay, that I'm like, somebody, somebody, some, um, uh, hold on, hold on, and, 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 and hold on, somebody, yeah. ha- somebody have it on speaker, take it off speaker because we're getting a real bad feedback. Make sure you take it, there you go, take it off speaker for me. All right, go ahead, Anna. Um, yeah, so many a times you'll also see um, women that do the same to men and, you know, uh, you know, I don't know that it's, you know, that because I kind of heard some of what Kurt was saying, I don't know that it's always that, um, you know, women have done it at all times because if, you know, if we go there, the tip for hat by me, um, men have done the same to women all through, um, all through growing up, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's a matter of maturity and you're trying to meet somebody who is on your level mentally and emotionally and willing to um, to be honest and not victimize you and mm-hmm. think of your feelings. But that is a whole different story. I think they have to find God and they have to find um, a peace with our father first and mm-hmm. then go ahead and try to find a woman because you can't find a woman or a man for that matter but you can't find a woman and you got all kinds of stuff messed up in your life mm-hmm. uh without finding yourself with it first you know exactly. that's just how i feel about it you know to each their own but mm-hmm. that's you know good deal I feel about it because you're going to keep damaging people along the way you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so. absolutely absolutely let me do this mute your line for mute your line for we have another caller caller what's your name where you calling from Charity calling from South Carolina. Charity, what's going on? How you doing? I'm all right. How y'all doing? Hey, doing good. Doing good. Charity, we asked a question this morning. Do men victimize women? Oh, Lord. Um, I think that can go both ways. Mm-hmm. I think that can kind of go both ways. Just depending on the characters of the people. Mm-hmm. I think it can go both ways. Okay. Okay. So well, what have, I, I'm just not tuning in. So what have the rest no, of them? No, we get we we, you know, we we got a, we got a lot. We got we actually recovered all ends of the spectrum this morning, and and it has been said that it can go both ways. But I'm I'm, I'm what I'm concentrating on is 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 from the um, female standpoint right now, and I'm just trying to figure out do men victimize women, and if that is the case, what part do you all play to allowing yourself to be victimized? Allow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if we allow it. It just. I don't know. I just. It's something that just kind of happens. I don't. I think like depending on the thing that we have been through and the you know what I'm saying the way that we're we have trained people to treat us it just kind of almost come natural. I don't even know if that's the right way to say it, but that's how it kind of seems. Mm-hmm. Mm. So is 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 what I'm hearing you say is it's become a natural. Uh, element of our society right now that men will victimize women. Yes. Wow. Wow. Mm. The- Can I say something? Yes, ma'am. This is Monique. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes with, with, with women, we get uh, mentally and emotionally attached to a man too soon. Mm-hmm. And we don't get, and we don't get a chance to really see him for who he is. And then once we get attached to him, then it's almost like it's hard to get out because now you you emotionally, you know, and it depends on how you handle your emotions because, and then some women are not in control of that because you know a lot of women they you know from what I've seen a lot of them are very erratic with it. So it, I can see why it might be hard because they emotionally, you know, and mentally invested in this person and they became blind to, you know, some of the things that this man was doing. And, and, and most men, if, you know, if nobody don't stop them, then they're going to continue on. Mm-hmm. You know, they almost, you know, not to say it like this, but they almost like little kids, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, the little boy, he's going to continue to, you know, do what he want to do until you stop him, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that's what it is. And I don't necessarily think that for some men that is that they intentionally, you know, doing it. They just going with the flow of it. 
Wow. You know, now, but there are some guys out there that are deceiving, but I think some of it is they just go on with the flow. It's almost like she like it, I love it mm-hmm. type of thing. Good deal. You know, um, Good deal. and I think, I think that men know how to separate it. They know how to separate it. You know, they're not mentally, emotionally invested. And it just depends on him, depends on how he grew up and mm-hmm. how he, uh, how they say compartmentalized. You know everything. Exactly. And so my I, thing so is, I think it all still goes back to the Monique, Monique. Let me say when you say that um, a, a a lady get caught up, I I I understand what you're saying, but I think it has more to do with it. And we can have a conversation on this uh, in the next couple, maybe next, next probably next week. Uh, soul ties. They get caught up in that soul tie, and a lot of women don't even understand or know what a soul tie is, but they find themselves attached to this individual because of a soul tie. We got another call from the 404 Every Your Code. What's your name? Where you calling from? This is Sherry calling back. Hey, how you doing again? Doing good, doing good. What's on your heart, Sherry? Yeah, um, I was thinking about something else. Um, people have a tendency to pray upon the weak. And when I met my husband, I was strong. I had, I had goals. I had met him when I was still in college. I was a go-getter. And it's like he saw that he liked that, but yet... I guess I got, that was my first love, my first relationship, so I started getting a little bit comfortable. And it's like, I wonder if he was always like that, or maybe I, because I was young and naive, I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I, I, but I was raised to be strong-minded, but sometimes I believe that we, we kind of like get comfortable in certain situations and we allow things to happen that we're not accustomed to. And I guess maybe it was, it's maybe you you looking for something that you thought you may want or something like that, but I do know people pray upon the weekend and they take it and they run with it. Unless you're strong enough to snap up out of it, it's going to continue a cycle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I and I had to step out of it and I said no more. And I said, if I don't change right now and get myself together, this is going to be an on th- going thing. It's going to trickle down to my kids and I have two daughters and I have to be the best person I can be and show them this is not the way you're supposed to live. You're supposed to be respected. You're supposed to be loved. And you're supposed to be cherished. Mm-hmm. Like, a, you know, a lady or a, a young um, lady or um, a woman or whatever. So it's like it, people just, just pray upon the week. And it's like maybe it's just like, you know, she was saying like the upbringing. And I just think a lot of people just twist it in the head. They just they just want to hurt people. <laughs> it's just crazy. Because yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. they have something going on with themselves. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. Good deal. Let me do this. Let me do this. I want to go right now. I want to go to Curtis and uh, we're going to Curtis. We're going to go to uh, Leonard right after Curtis. And I want to Curtis take us a, a, a brief second, take a brief minute, if you will, and explain soul ties before we got. Like I said, we're going to have a show on on soul ties, but take a minute and explain to people what soul ties are. Curtis, you there? It's been a while since. Yeah, I'm right here, bro. It's been a while since we did this show, but if I'm not mistaken, um, soul ties is, is basically uh, uh, it comes from when you connect your spirit or when somebody else's spirit is connected to yours. Most of the time it's connected through uh, physical interaction, through sex. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it, it's almost hard for you to break that tie. So you, you may be... Uh, you may be five years past, but this person is still uh, able to to manipulate you and, and 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 have you doing things that you either shouldn't be doing, don't want to be doing, or uh, things that you um, things that you uh, that's not in your best interest. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, a lot of us go through it when we're young. Um, I connected it to, uh, there's what you call, it. ladies, if y'all get the chance, look this up. Fellas, if y'all get a chance, look this up. There's there's a spirit out there called the Mariner spirit. M as in Mike, A as in Alpha, R as in Romeo, I as in India, N as in November, E as in Echo. And um, it's called the Mariner spirit. And um, we we have to be very, very careful um, with whom we not only lay with, but with whom we have mental intercourse with. Mm-hmm. See, see, intercourse. A lot of times we think intercourse is just all physical, 
it's not. There's a verbal intercourse that human beings have that can create a um, uh, uh, what we would think is a a, a relationship. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can have a verbal, you can have a mental orgasm without anybody ever touching you. Um, um, I don't want to be perverse in what I'm saying, but um, the easiest way to explain it is, okay, imagine the feeling you have when you leave from church and it is a good service. The message was so on point and so directly correlated to your life. Can you imagine how you felt? Can can you remember how you felt? You 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 almost felt the same uh, euphoric experience as you did if you physically would have laid down and, and had a form of sexual intercourse. So um, the, the, the 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 soul tie is is real. Absolutely. Um, and a lot of times, what people don't understand, a lot of times, um, and, and 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 I did a little research on this as well. Is when you when you're doing the oral part of of, of it is a lot of time that's a lot of that's a lot of time that's where your attachment comes. Leonard, what's on your heart, brother? Oh, I'm really listening mm-hmm. um, because my experience hasn't been the same mm-hmm. because I haven't been in a lot of relationships mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and things like that. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's uh, I'm just listening. I, I, I'm, I'm, I understand the victimization part. Yes, I understand the problems mm-hmm. and the issues that people have, but I know it's a big argument mm-hmm. where women want things to be what they really are not, mm-hmm. and this is how they're taking advantage of. Whereas men are not. It, it, it's almost like you, you're saying that they're looking for this fantasy. Well, I mean, they're, they're, they're in search of this fantasy of, of, of this uh, night and shining armor so type much situation. As a fantasy. But let mm-hmm. me clear a couple of things up. I didn't say I don't believe in Adam and Eve. I said mm-hmm. I don't believe in that story the way yeah. it's been yeah. okay. put forth. Yeah. Okay. And, and also, it is a difference that we have tried to cover up. Mm-hmm. And now that difference is out. Mm hmm. Okay, we fought so long to say men and women are the same. And now we're finding out they're really not. Mm -hmm. They're really not. Mm -hmm. And because you wanted to deceive the spirit and everything like that, now you have these problems. Mm -hmm. These man problems, because they're not God problems. They're not soul problems or nothing. They flesh problems. Mm -hmm. And mentally, you have to prepare yourself out here. Mm hmm. No disrespect to my sister, and I want to talk with her offline. Mm-hmm. Heart, sweetheart, don't you give that type of, of of concern and respect to no other man that walks the face of this earth. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Toya. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't gave man what was intended for God. And this is what we have to understand. We, men are weak this way. Mm-hmm. Men as for separating men from you know, yeah, other yeah, things. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, 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 and unless you come into an understanding of yourself first, don't try to get tied to somebody else. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can't be, you can't oh, be, man. you can't oh, be, you can't oh, be man. out oh, here. Mm-hmm. You hey, can't be it, out it, here. I got one for you, man. I got one for you. I told you hey, you, you was naked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you know who told him you was naked? The devil. Yeah, yeah. I told you mm-hmm. you were naked, woman, mm-hmm. and you believed me. Yeah. And now I'm able to take advantage of you any and each way, any way I want to. I made you believe you was naked, and you should be ashamed. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on. Let me go to uh. <laughs> let me let me go to Kurt. Kurt, go ahead, brother. Hey, you you got something on you, real quick. Make it quick, man. We only got a few more hey. minutes. Hey, man, look, in the show, right? <laughs> Dr. Charity King got com- a line in the show. Charity coming to you next. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Dr. King got a line in the show that I'm doing at Herndon. Dr. King has a line in the show where he asked the girl for a cigarette. And she say, um, uh, he asked, he said, well, can I have another one? She said, you ain't going to leave me here with no cigarettes. And uh, she finally give in and give him the cigarette, right? And she say, you sure do try hard. He say, well, (laughs) 
Where the spirit is willing, the, Come on, man. the flesh is weak. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. Kurt, <laughs> they think I make this up. <laughs> Let me get mad, y'all. Like, y'all like I it up, man. God, put that on everything I love in the show. He said, where the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trust me. The Bible say abstain. Lord, hold on, Jim. Hold on, abstain. Hold on, Jim. Hold on, Jim. Y'all, 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 y'all turning on me. Y'all turn if on. I get you to give me that cigarette, baby. It's, a, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. Charity, what's on your heart? Is is that is that a form of manipulation right there, Char- Charity? Yeah, um, I, even, I, I just wanted to say that um, I realized my mistakes and I, I've learned from them because when I left my husband. I was celibate for a whole year, mm-hmm. and then I just flipped out and was started doing stuff I had no business doing. Mm-hmm. Yes. It went with a lot of people, but and I had to have a reality check. This is not me. Mm-hmm. That's right. I was. I'm. This. This is not me. This is this. This is a person who who just lost it for a minute. And yes, you know. And I gave myself to somebody who was undeserving, and then. You know, some words were said and whatever, whatever. But the point of the matter is, I have learned from my snakes, and we we as we have to wake up. Mm-hmm. You see, you fail, you scrape, got your knees scraped up and everything. Pick yourself up, dust yourself up, and just keep it moving. Yes, so I had somebody approach me the other day. I said, "No, oh, I'm good. Good deal. I'm good. I, I, I you, you fooled me once, but mm-hmm. you ain't gonna get me again. So therefore." All I do is keep myself busy. I'm working on my daughters, making being sure I'm a better mother and all that other good stuff. I got work to do, so I just keep my mind straight and I realize my mistakes and I keep it moving. So I, you're not gonna fool me again. I've learned, I'm growing, and and I have positive people in my life, so I'm just gonna do just do that. Good. Day. Let me go to Ch- Charity. Are you there? I'm here. Go ahead, Charity. What's on your heart? Um. Yeah, I just wanted to say like it, I don't even know if it's a form of manipulation or what it is, but I just noticed that men, they seem to always play victim. Like, for instance, like, a lot of times, like, when, um, you know, uh, they come with this thing, oh, well, nobody's ever done this way for me. I've always been treated this way. I've always had to be the one to do this and da-da-da-da-da-da-da. They give you these long stories. So, But if you give them that, then <clears throat> it's other things to it. And then I think with this generation that's up now, like, you know, the younger, like, you know, and I'm in my 30s, so, like, the 30s and stuff like that is more like they all about this ride or die. Who is going to ride and who is going to die? You know what I'm saying? Like, no. And it's crazy. It. Like, how, how long do I post the ride till I die? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And that's what I say to them. Like, that is crazy. This I ride or die it. generation, like, you know, they, they basically what I'm saying is they want to do all these things, have this going on, have this there, but, you know, but, baby, I love, you know what I'm saying, it's me and you, we're going to be here then. Like, it don't work like that. It does not work like that. I got something that I'm going to put in your inbox, <clears throat> and I'm going to let you see. And this is totally, and I put it on my page um, yesterday, and this is totally how people think. You know, and the man is basically telling her, I'm going to say it the clean way, but he's saying the discreet way. Mm-hmm. He's basically saying, I love you. I want you here for me. I don't want you doing this. I don't want you doing that. But now I'm doing this, and I'm doing that. But now you got to be here for me. I want you to be my family. Mm-hmm. I want you to be my mama, da, 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 but you can't do this. You can't do this. and can't do that. And at the end, she just swell off and start beating on him. And I made a comment. I said, honey, what was your hammer? So that's what you need either. A hammer <laughs> in one hand, a screwdriver in the other hand, because this, this is what these people are doing. That's, this is what they're doing. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, this ride or die generation, it's like dirty. I'm saying, like, mm-hmm. you know, they, it's okay if they kind of do these things, but, like, if you're the one, you're supposed to be there for them. You're like, how long you supposed to ride for you die? Or for you die? Not me, nine, but how long you think I'm going to ride for you die? Like, it's crazy out here. It really is. It's almost just best to be by yourself. I always tell myself, I think, like, I was born in the wrong generation. I think my husband is way, way gone. My husband's probably way low, was older than me. Because mm-hmm. I know I don't want to be riding down with these people. <laughs> exactly. Toya, what's on your heart? Back's on that. Shout, shout to the ratchet and raggy. Because that's exactly why we're having this conversation right now, man. Like, at yeah. the end of the day. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I, I did something wrong with Leonard and you think I gave him power. But that power always been in me. That's why I'm confident the way I am. I never let no man. God had to handle me. Not no man walks this earth and going to dominate me ever. That's why I've always been the dominate for, period. Now, as a woman, I allowed myself to give this leadership position to a man, to a man, because that's the original design. Mm-hmm. And then what we do is, regardless of what I give you and regardless of who I am in the Lord, you're going to do what you want to do. You just said that on how men are. You just said how men 
So my thing to the lady is you take your mentality and put it into that relationship, that's how you're going to be dominated. Once you make up your mind to say that that person's going to be the leader, that's how we're going to get dominated because we give up that power to them for a position that we just heard ain't but 17 men worthy of that same position. The one that's going to do the right thing, the one that's going to exercise the authority, and not for nothing, when we teach our kids this in these households, this is what we're dealing with. Your sons that you told you ain't got to respect them, them daughters you told, oh, you better get somebody that's going to take care of you. Not, don't get somebody that's going to love you. This is why we're going through this cycle. Because what we're raising our kids and how we're teaching them is what we're going out there looking for. So if you're talking to your kids all crazy, they're going to be in a relationship where they talk to each other all crazy. If you're fighting and carrying on, like we talked about yesterday, if you're breaching all your kids for 16, 17 years, Boys and girls, nine times out of ten, when they get in a relationship, they're going to be in a relationship where they beat somebody and somebody's beating on them. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go, go like Jess. I'm going to go like Jesse Jackson. Like he always says, keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. Keep hope right. alive. Donna, what's on your heart, right. Donna? I wish I could, I could borrow uh, I, I don't know. Cassandra, I think it is. You called her the third pastor. I want to say something, but yeah. I don't want to say it. But she's the only one who says it. But um, <laughs> sometimes we talk about, I'm a queen, I'm a queen, and I'm looking for a king, and you keep searching for it uh, and winding up with it. What you call it? A gesture? A gesture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's how you turn around. So, 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 so their selection, so their selection process is terrible. I'm just saying. Okay. 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 And and so now, uh, now, how is it that a person comes in your life and you allow it, and it's that person's fault? Hmm. Because I don't want I don't want nobody that is that doesn't fit. Matter of fact, sometimes you got to check the family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My, my dad used to say, boy, look at that family. It ain't going to work. Mm-hmm. My dad, I'm going to do it anyway. Mm-hmm. And then I'm looking like boo-boo the fool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't blame that person. Mm-hmm. You allowed it. You allowed it. Karen, yeah. Karen what's on your heart? <laughs> um, well, two things. Um, different people have different definitions of love. That's the first. Mm-hmm. And the second is hey, me, hey, Karen, the Karen, greatest power. Hey, Karen, hold, hold on for one second. Everybody mute your, mute your line so we can hear exactly what Karen is saying. Everybody mute your line for me. We got some background noise going on. Good deal. Good deal. Go ahead, Karen. Sorry about that. Uh, the second is, for me, the greatest power bringing it back to uh, power like Leonard was talking about in the beginning the greatest power that a person can have is to have control of themselves. That's the greatest power. I don't think it was meant to exactly. uh, dominate anybody else. You've got to learn how to control yourself. Mm-hmm. So if you want to do something wrong, you know it's not what you ought to be doing. You use that power to control you. So I think we could avoid a lot of the pitfalls uh, we find ourselves in if we learn to do that. Mm-hmm. Good deal, good deal, man. We got a great conversation going on. I'm definitely enjoying it here. Uh, let me see who have I, who have I not to Anna. Anna, what's on your heart? Wow, there was a lot that. Um, well, I want to reply to the ride or die. I think that pretty much started it. back to people that are, we'll say, around their forties. Uh, mid forties, um, and it was something that was really in. Um, I don't know about dying for anybody and sticking through everything, but you know, that's um, that's just. <laughs> Basically, the concept <laughs> is we, we win together, we lose and together. I guess yeah. Whoever, huh? Really, the concept is we win together, we lose together, we die together. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> but you know, we got flipped turned a, a different direction with, you know, for anybody in my, around my generation that did listen to that hip hop and stuff like that back then, you know, it, it had a lot to do with that. 
I think it was Curtis that was talking about uh, what was it with the spirits that intertwine. What was it that you were saying? The, the, so, the soul ties. Soul ties. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, man, I can admit that there was somebody from my past that was like that. That, um, and I won't say that it was necessarily. Um, and I hope I'm not getting too explicit because I do know this is a Christian radio station. But it was something more mental that they would always come back around and I don't care what I was doing. It it was at the time and it was something like that. It was just very mental and they could just get in my head like that to where I would be like, and it wasn't that I would wait for any reason or another. There was just a connection I could not explain to anybody. You know, they would be like, I I don't understand. Well, what what are you doing? And And I would just be like, I can't explain it. It's just... A connection we have and then uh, truthfully I did start you know going to church more this is you know early 90s I did start going to church and I you know I was released of a lot of things and he was one of them that um, it was like no I, I you know I, I'm just I gotta let go of all of this this isn't gonna end up anywhere it's not gonna go anywhere good um, you know it, it, I believe that to happen because it's happened with me. And I'm not going to say all about laying up together because that's, that, that to, to me, us women are a lot more emotional and guys can just, you know, just jump from one to another. It's not too much for them. But when it comes to us women, you know, it's more emotional and, you know, we really feel that connection because that's who we are. So I'm going to say in my case, it was just more of a mental thing. Like he can get in my head like nobody could. Mm -hmm. Um, Today that probably wouldn't be the same. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Needless to say. But I think it's something that we can, like I said, and I'll continue saying it. If we continue just putting God first, I think a lot of this will clear out. Mm -hmm. And just not going with the fleshy me or I can do this as a woman. I can do this myself. Just with, uh, okay, let me put my father first. Let me, you know, I'm about to go into fasting here very soon. Let me do put this all into fasting and see what my father or who my father is going to bring me. And mm-hmm. I think that's where a lot of us confuse it because we want it now because that is the fleshy us. Whether it's mental, emotional, uh, physical, whatever the case may be, um, that's what we desire and we go by that impulse. Exactly. But on the other hand, you know, if you actually put our father first, then, it, you know, it, it could go many different ways. Do you see what I'm saying? You Absolutely. might cut that person off mm-hmm. and not feel anything. So. Absolutely. Good deal. But that's us. Okay. Good deal. Let me, we, we, we got uh, uh, just a few more minutes, man. Uh, we actually went over a little bit already. It's already 9, or what is it, 9 or 9, almost nine ten. But I want to go to uh, Leonard over here. He, he, he's he been jumping up and down in his seat, and I'm trying to figure out what's go going on the, with it. It's because I got to go to the bathroom. Oh, that was it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You're crazy. Okay. You know that? <laughs> you know, I ain't, got, look, I ain't got now sense, man. I ain't got now sense. Not now. But what's on your heart, brother? And and, and and let me let me read this real quick before you said it. Okay. Toya, Toya said about the family. She said family don't mean nothing. Family could be great, and they mm-hmm. could be the crazy one in the family. Yeah. And you could just pick the crazy one. You go, you know. A lot of times we have a tendency to go pick the one that ain't right. <laughs> Leave the one that's good on the shelf and pick the one that ain't right. But go ahead, little. That's at, right. At the end of the day, <laughs> mm-hmm. who has the most problems? Who has the most issues? Just the women. Who's more disappointed than anyone? Are you saying the women? I'm just. I'm. I mean, it's just rhetorical. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Put. 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 Get plugged in where you're at. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna never be sitting around talking about why a woman wasn't this, wasn't that. I'm just gonna go get another one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm not gonna be fretting over it. I'm not gonna ruin my life about it. It is what it is. It was what it was, mm-hmm. and I'm moving on. Good deal. Good. And 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 women. Do understand, men don't have to do nothing. Mm-hmm. See, if you keep that concept in your head, and you, a lot of women that sit around and they say, well, he made this baby too. Yeah, but you got to carry it and you got to have it. He don't. Yep. That's fact. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Quit trying to make it something it's not. He don't have to love you. Mm-hmm. He laid with you and got you pregnant. Now y'all got to talk about some other things. And if you can't talk, now you got to go to the court. Mm-hmm. That's the way it works. 
The best thing to do is abstain from that type of thing. But see, my yeah, and, and you're absolutely right. And and, and I love I love how you went there. That's good. That's good because and and, and, and that's what it it's is. It's concept that's and what principle. It it's that's not what new. It is. Come on, come on. It's constantly breaking the universal concept and principles mm -hmm. that puts you in certain positions. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe it, you don't have to because the evidence is here. Mm -hmm. So it happened. See, the, 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 the thing about it is this. Um, and I, 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 I challenge my brothers on this one right here, man. Uh, Charity, I'm coming to you next. I challenge my brothers on this one right here, man. If, if you don't have that woman's best interest at heart, if you don't have her best interest at heart, if you think that you just want to have somebody to lay down with at that moment, don't do it. Leave her alone. Because what you're doing, you're damaging her. You're damaging her. Oh, Raheem is so nice. You, you're damaged. You're, oh, oh he's, here we go. He, he is so sweet. Here you go. There you go. Oh my Whoa. God. Curtis, what Curtis? Curtis is hung up. Curtis, where you at? But please, Kurt. Please save us, Kurt. <laughs> Charity, what's on your heart, sister? Talk to me. You're the MVP for that one. I just say you are the MVP. Amy. Listen, no, uh, uh, no, no, no. That is so true. If you don't, I feel like this. I, I'll go to side. I think like if most men, like when you come to her, when you meet still woman, you like how she look or whatever the situation is and you approach her. I think nine times, eight times out of ten, mm -hmm. if you tell her what's up from the beginning, you don't go sit there and try to act like you the only one in the world and you, <laughs> you the stars and the sun and the unicorns and the new baby. If you don't don't tell them all that stuff, just be up front with them. Hey, you know, I ain't right. <laughs> I got this going on. I'm over here. She might still choose to deal with you on some type exactly. or some kind of level. You understand know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's not what happens. What happens is, oh no, it's only you. You just did <laughs> and then the sun will come out. If I don't call you, they go with all this. So now this woman got this illusion in her and she's falling for it because who doesn't want to be loved? Who doesn't want to be that one? You understand? Know come on, so Lucifer. Now she's thinking, so she's thinking in her head, okay, well, you know, maybe he it ain't he ain't that bad and maybe this ain't that way and you know and da 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 da. But if a person, if a man, I'm gonna say this because women women are more upfront than men. Women are more like, hey, you know, I kinda got this going on. Like yes, you know, if you talk to her, she's gonna kinda tell you what she got going on. Men most of the time don't. They try to make you feel like you're the D E. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're you are the crypt tonight, you are it. You understand what I'm saying? And da da da. And then when something goes down wrong, and then you might go in and then you bust out a wonder or something, then it's like, what the hell is wrong? Like, it is so crazy. <laughs> no, you Lord, my <laughs> Jesus. I love it. The truth. <laughs> Lord, the truth. Lord, Lord, Lord. You did this. You did this to me. I'm not crazy. I got good sense. I'm a, I'm an entrepreneur. I got my own business, everything. I'm not no fool. I wouldn't have made it this far by myself. You understand what I'm saying? But you did this to me. Now don't sit back like you're the victim. Y'all, me and love to play victim, okay? You know what I'm saying? So now you're the victim, and I'm so crazy. I did this, and I did this, and then no, 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 sir. You drove me <laughs> to those limits. But if you didn't, if you would have told me up front, hey, and you know, I ain't fit, and I kind of got this going on, da, 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 but how do you want to, okay, well, Thank sir, you. now I know how to handle you. Thank now you. I know how to handle you. Wow. Don't come in here pet me on my head and telling me I'm the best pet you ever had. That's real. Mm. That's mm. real right that's there. That's charity. That's, that's charity right there. Right there. That's, that's my sister. That's charity right there. Well, she got, she got, she got, ain't she no got no fantasy, no dreams. It's mm. real. Mm. We about to make mistakes. <laughs> no. A and you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's okay because we all are human. So when you first, if I meet a gentleman right now, I don't know nothing about him but what he's telling me and what I'm seeing. And that's all he know about me. So you can go ahead and tell me the truth. I got nine kids and I'm on child support. I'm going to be on child support for the next Just tell 20 years. You know, whatever mm. situation. Is. But tell me. Let me know so I know how to handle that. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Like my daddy say, peace in my end, tell me it's raining. Just go ahead and tell me the facts. So mm -hmm. I know how to handle that, so I know how to deal with it. But that's not what people do. People give you this illusion. They put you in these bad places. They play with your emotions and stuff like that. And then now once you all invest in your feelings and all the stuff Preach. you put this person, now when something happens, it's harder for you to walk away. You know what I'm saying? Because now your loyalty is there. And loyalty keeps us in a lot of bad places Preach. that we should have left two days ago. Last Christmas, we should have been gone. We still there <laughs> because of loyalty. She said last the Christmas. The church is open. Exactly. <laughs> Pass the plate. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Look at a, a Donna. She said, and, and she said one of the things that she said in the course of what she was saying just now, she said, you make me think that the sun ain't going to shine if I don't talk to Bring you. Bring that truth. God to almighty. <laughs> Donald, you know. Now, now, now give them just some good lies. You know what I'm saying? Them just some good, good lies. Like, 
just tell the person the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, I can deal with the truth. Just tell me the truth so I know how to come at you. You know what I'm saying? You just did. That's like basic training to the military. Mm-hmm. Everybody get training, but we don't get no training into no goddamn dang long relationship. There, there you we go. just go straight hey, hey, You know what I'm saying? They don't train. I mean, just tell the person the truth, like, for real. <laughs> And the average woman, the average woman, if she already like you, she gonna rock with whatever situation come you got going on. on. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Can I if get you like me, she gonna rock with whatever situation she's gonna. Yeah. That's hey, top. Hey, top hey, top Chad, secret information, right? Chad, I, I just wanna, I just want you to do, do me one little small favor, Chad, before we go to get out of here. But do me one favor. Uh oh, what's that? Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, what's on your heart, brother? <laughs> Donna, what's on your heart? A lot of, lot, of, lot of people have gone to the extreme of doing background checks. Mm-hmm. That might be a, a suggestion. Two sides. You know, say, say, look, <laughs> can I have the last four of your social security number, please? I'm going to make two sides laugh. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> hey, two sides. My Just wife. My yes. Uh, I told my wife one day, I said, you might want to check your record. I ain't nothing on my record. Mm-hmm. You might want to check it. Because mm-hmm. I have. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to check it all day. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. already looked at it. I don't already look. Listen, we're about to get out of here for today. Anybody have anything before we get out of here today? Anybody have anything? Hey, well, yeah, I got to say something. <laughs> well, y'all, y'all. Uh, I, got I want to say something real quick. Go ahead. That's all I want to say. Go ahead. For every man on this radio station, when they see the the, the very next woman you see, just say, "Ma'am, I'm sorry." I'm sorry. 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 I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I just want to say, I, 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 I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> exactly. Anybody else have something they wanted to say? Can we all just get along? <laughs> 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 mm. and, this is Anna. and one thing I will say, um, and I, I am one of those people that will do a background check on you. Just because you don't get that honesty, and I did in a lot of times. So I'm just saying, I'm all for that. <laughs> and all joking aside, I am that person. And you have to, you have to, because what she was saying was true. You don't straight up tell somebody, you know, I got nine kids or whatever. I owe this much in child support. I won't be paying child support for the rest of my life. I got good credit, bad credit. You know, these are things we got to deal with for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you got to ask yourself, is this really what I want? And it's not fair when you're not giving me that choice. You know what mm-hmm, I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I'm all for a background check. <laughs> Lord, my Jesus. Okay, everybody everybody, meet your live and we're going to get out of here for today. Uh, Toya, Toya, you still with us? I think we lost, I think we lost Toya. Yeah, I think, I think we lost Toya. All right. Leonard, what's going on at 3 o'clock today, bro? 3 o'clock, if you did not get a chance to hear this show, specifically this yeah. show, in its entirety. You like this one, didn't you? Tune in at www.dkmradio.com <laughs> to hear the rebroadcast. <laughs> And Definitely we'll, post <laughs> any concerns, <laughs> questions, or anything you may have on our message boards yes, yes. so we can come up with shows and develop content around them shows that are of interest to you. Mm-hmm. Good deal. And uh, when we got started this morning, Linda said, I don't like this. I don't like this. I ain't going to like this one. No. Yeah. But it changed, didn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, different. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I am... I love listening to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't imagine living it. Mm-hmm. I couldn't imagine living it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Listen, we're about to get out of here for today. Let me see. Somebody just sent me a message. Who sent me a message just now? Somebody just sent me a message. Who was that? Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Good deal. Look, we're about to get out of here for for today. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And more than that, I want to thank you for allowing DKM Radio and the Morning Glow to be a part of your morning. Um, Who we got here? Let's go to um Sherry. You with us? Yeah, I'm here. Sherry, pray us out. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today. Thank you for just just this conversation that was wonderful and it was a blessing to my heart. I ask that you just watch over everybody. It sounds like some people were driving. Keep them safe on the road. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
This has been a great broadcast, and uh, we we had um had, had my sister Charity on with had, had Charity came on this boy, the boy Charity. She got a fan. I'm a, I'm a new fan. Charity. I enjoy her. Charity came on here preaching. Charity say Charity, hey Charity, you still with us? Uh-huh. I'm here. Yeah, I, I just want you to say one thing. We we can end the show. Just say amen. Cause every time you go to prayer, when you when you get finished, you say amen. So let me hear you say amen. Say it like the old old, old country preacher. Say it like the old country preacher said. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna say amen. But I just really want y'all men to go out there and apologize to two women. How the church say for you leave? Oh, two people before you go. No one want to go apologize to two women. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Okay. this ma'am, I'm sorry. And I watch this. She's going to she go home and tell somebody that today. I promise you. Watch this. Watch this. Charity? Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sherry? <laughs> Sherry? I'm sorry. Sherry? I'm sorry, Sherry. <laughs> Sherry? I'm sorry. Sherry? I'm sorry. Sherry? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Too sorry, too. Thank Kurt, God. is you and sorry, Kurt? I don't Kurt. need to apologize oh. to me for that crazy this I'm, other day. I'm, I'm I want to hear Kurt say I'm it. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Look, I, 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 I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I, I'm sorry. And that's apologize all. to me like you Lenny Williams. <laughs> And you know that I do. Dude, turn my mic off. Turn your mic off. <laughs> Girl, you know why. Oh, oh, excuse me. I, I got carried away. You get carried away. <laughs> but listen, it's been a great broadcast, man. I want to thank everybody for participating, everybody that listened and tuned in. I want to thank you for allowing uh, DKM Radio and the Morning Glow to be a part of your morning. This has been a great broadcast. It is now 922. You're about to exit the Morning Glow. But before you go, I want you to do me two favors, if you will. One, I want you to continue to pray for us because we're certainly praying for each and every one of you. Number two, why this is real simple. I want you to go out there, find somebody, and give them a hug because you never know. It could be the only hug that they get or it could very well be there last. Love you and ain't nothing you can do about it. Have a great day and a better tomorrow. And if we shine some of this light on you from the morning glow, now take this light out into this cruel, wicked world that we live in and let your light so shine on someone else. We're going to end as we begin with the song. We're going to play some uh, My Worship is for Real. My Worship is for Real. Y'all have a great day. Love ya and love each other. Ladies, I'm sorry. <laughs> You get to a point beyond the veil. Where your worship is for real. Candace is gonna come and Bishop Gordon is gonna jump in here a little bit. We're gonna leave here tonight worshiping the Lord. How many know he never does anything else? He's worthy of all the worship because of who he is. Come on, clap your hands, everybody.